this election cycle, there's a highly contested alderman's race in Ward 6. Alderman Rebecca Geritz will not seek re-election after serving for almost 10 years. Four candidates will appear on that September primary ballot. Joe Lynch, host of Greater Somerville, recently profiled the candidates. Here's an excerpt from each candidate's appearance. I would like to see uh, the T, the buses and the, t the subway system minimally, free and use the money that comes from the surtax on millionaires that's uh, being moved in a constitutional amendment for 2016-2018. Speaking of funding... Can I just uh, add sure. one, one point to that? You know, aside from taking maybe $40,000 from a millionaire's tax obligation uh, to, to generate this billion dollars, we're also going to save low and moderate income people who use public transportation uh, anywhere up to $1,500 a year in, in uh, pre-tax uh, spending. So not only uh, do we uh, uh, have people pay their fair share at the top, but we also uh, have a way to lighten the financial burden on people at the, at the bottom. The rents keep going up, but if we can make the transportation component of people's budgets less, then they will have more that they can uh, handle their housing costs with in the interim while we look for some solutions that are more meaningful. Affordable housing is, is an issue that it, uh, cuts right to the core of, of the reason I'm running. As I said, we lose the diversity in the city, we lose the character of these communities, and we lose a big piece of what makes Somerville the city that, that my wife and I decided to raise our family in and that you know, so many people want to be a part of. Uh, you know, there's a number of good projects that are, that are in the works. Uh, the, as I said, the Sustainable Neighborhoods Working Group is looking at citywide proposals for f both funding and actual on-the-ground mechanisms that we can either enhance or add. In Ward 6, I, I think it's, that's where changes to zoning, inclusionary zoning, um, uh, linkage fees, there's things that we can do that will, on a small scale, uh, hopefully impact affordability. Um, development projects that uh, that don't have condos but that have apartments, for example. Um, small scale, uh, or look up uh, on Highland Ave, the, the Quick Mart site. Um, sure, corner of Cedar and Highland Ave. Exactly. Yep. The, the initial po proposal there uh, was, uh, was reworked, and they added an affordable unit there. So yep. significant, large-scale, inward six, It'd be a real challenge. Yeah. I'd like to see it if there's if there's an opportunity to do so, but it's it's going to be more of a multiple small scale uh, solutions at least in Ward Six. And then the last thing that that I would uh, consider is whether there's more we can do for long term renters. And so the city has a very generous um, owner occupier uh, exemption, and uh, as just a been pushed to thirty five percent. That's correct. Yep. And as a homeowner, I'm I'm heartened to see it. Um, I would like to see whether, I would like to look at whether we could extend that to landlords of long-term tenants. I think that it takes a lot of work for a landlord to do the right things to keep a, a tenant long-term, right? Make sure that you don't raise your rent at every opportunity. Make sure that you're ha the upkeep, you know, that you, you do the, up the necessary upkeep on your property. And I think the landlords that are doing the right thing in our city should be rewarded. And I think we should look at the consequences of providing some sort of reward for them. Reward incentive. Reward incentive, Same absolutely. Thing. absolutely. Same thing. And we all know that issues of housing and housing costs are a big part of the conversation in Somerville and in many cities across America right now. Um, and as a renter myself, um, and there are very few renters um, who are active in city politics at the moment, I hope to be a bridge between the community of folks who have chosen Somerville as a place to spend a few of their years when they're in their 20s and 30s and with the city's long-term priorities and goals. Um, finally, as an education professional, I hope I would likewise be a bridge with the schools committee um, and with all of the city's education priorities and all of these. Uh, working in education, I see how closely tied up issues of um, housing costs are with issues of educational outcomes. Um, these things go hand in hand, and to improve one, you improve the other. And you can watch the entire hour at scattv.org or on YouTube at Greater Somerville Election Special 2015. The Ward 6 primary election will be held on Thursday, September 17th. The last day to register to vote in the primary is Friday, August 28th.